Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome to my channel, wherever you are. My name is Mina. I do some follow along with these routines, which means you can do these routines with me right now, right here. One word of caution before we begin. If you have any surgeries, injuries, ailments, anything that's bothering you, please consult your doctor before starting any exercises. All right, today's exercise is all about reducing your lower back pain, whether you're sitting all day, standing all day, or doing nothing, still have back pain, these exercises is there for you to help you relieve, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. First, just loosen up the back a little bit. I'm gonna focus more on the hip joints to loosen them up too. Okay, and include lower back. Okay. And you're going to repeat this. Act. It's not like one day you will do it and miraculously it, everything will be okay. No, you have to put in consistent efforts. Okay. If you want to, if you want pain relief, put in the efforts. Okay, it's like grooming to a dance, isn't it? Yes. Enjoy, enjoy. Other way. Other way. Enjoy, enjoy the <laughs> warm up. This is the warm up, okay? Enjoy. All right, all right. Now, sit. Let's go ahead and get started with the stretches. First up, let's do forward fold you're going to do is just go as low as you can touch your knee touch your toes okay if possible go further down and one thing notice or keep in mind is like you're not going back and doing this thing. try to keep your legs straight knee slightly bent and go further down so what I mean is, if you're stay, st uh, standing straight, go forward instead of going backward. So do you see the movement? Going back and just standing straight and going in front. So there's a difference, right? So if you go backward, it doesn't help that much. You're trying to be as straight as possible with knees slightly bent. You'll get a better stretch. Go down. Touch your toes, touch your toes, touch your ankles, or even if you're still here, it's fine. Whatever is your comfort level, okay? And slowly, you can go further down, further down, further down, further down. As down as you can. Stay in this position for a couple of seconds. See if you can go further down. Push yourself further down if you can. Okay. Now, next up. Slowly, one vertebra at a time. Come up. Slowly. Slowly. Don't just push it. Fast movements, not even now, slowly. All right. Next up, sit uh, on your back, okay? Take support of your hands in the back. Spread your knees slightly apart. And this is the move. Touch one knee to the ground, the other stays that way. Bring this up. Touch this knee to the ground. Straight up. Bring this knee to the ground. Straight up. Bring this knee to the ground. We're taking hand support so that we can bring the knee and touch the ground. Again, if you cannot touch the ground, it's okay. Go as 
as low as you can. Okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Okay? Adjust yourself if possible, or if you're moved. Last five on each side. Four, three, two, one. All right. Straight. Join your toes together. Join your feet together. And come down. Go as low as you can. Okay? Again. In the first attempt, if your body does not allow you, do not push. Slowly go. We do not want to injure yourself. Slowly bend down. Go as low as you can. It will help if you bring your hands forward. Stay in the position. Try to go further down. Go down. <clears throat> Slowly come up. Sit straight. Hold your feet. Bring them closer to yourself. Let's do some butterflies. Like flap your wings like butterflies. Okay? <clears throat> Very good exercise. Ready? Hold your feet so that they don't go forward. And you have to be sitting straight and don't um, lunge. Okay? Start. Okay, that was it. Next up, what you're going to do, spread your uh, feet wide across, or rather, bring one knee close to you, okay, one heel closer to your body, and on the other leg, try to touch your toes. Go as low as you can. I know it's not directly related to lower back, but again, all muscles join. And if every, every muscle is relaxed on your back, your lower back will automatically feel relaxed. Go as low as you can. Can push yourself a little bit more further down. Breathe through your nose. Okay, slowly come up. This was stretching your side back muscles and also your hamstrings and your calf muscles. Switch sides, other side. Breathe normally through your nose.
Okay, slowly. Come up. Next, sting. Spread across both feet. Bend down. Pretend as if somebody is pulling both your hands and go down. <clears throat> Pretend somebody is pulling your hand. Okay, slowly. Come up. Are you already feeling the stretch? Muscles relaxed. I am. Okay, next couple. Let's do a couple of exercises. Laying on the back. Okay, first up. Let's do rocking. So what you're doing is holding your knees. Holding your knees and just rock back and forth. Just rock. So using your body weight, you're massaging your back. Couple more. Last one. Okay. Oh, did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. I felt like being a child again. Okay. <laughs> Next up, your knees spread slightly wider than your shoulders. Hands by your side. What are you going to do? So the moment that we did the first exercise, sitting, the same exercise, you're doing it laying down. Touch your one knee to the ground. Or if not, just take it as close to the ground as possible. One at a time. Last five on each side. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right. Next up, both the knees, both the feet join together. The knees are joined together. Just lower body, rock it side to side. Both the knees are joined together. Upper body stays where it is. Only your lower body waist down is moving. Last four on each side. Four, three, two, last one. There you go. Now while we are at it, why not do spine twist, okay? Come on one side. Now, other way. Waist up, twist your body, neck and hand, neck and shoulder, the top shoulder, Opposite direction of the knee. Just switch. I mean, twist.
Other side. And twist. Face and top shoulder opposite direction of knee. All right, come straight on the back. Raise both your legs, hold by your calf muscles. Try to bring your knees as close to your chest as possible. Try to bring your knees as close to your chest as possible. If you do all these set of exercises at least three times a week, I'm pretty sure you won't feel the back pain that you feel just by, you know, one motion, tightness of the muscles. Your muscles will be really loose and flexible. But at least repeat three times a week. Next up, cross one leg on top of the other. Bring your hand in between this. Pull your other knee close to your chest. And with this elbow, with the other hand elbow, push this knee other side. So see, there are two movements that's happening. You're joining your hands behind your knees here. You're pulling the, this knee, this leg knee closer to your chest. And with this elbow, which is here, turn in and, uh, try to touch the elbow to the knee and push the knee on the other side. Switch, bring the other leg on top of the uh, this leg, hands joined with this elbow, push the knee, and with the hands which is joined, pull this knee closer to your chest. All right, let it go. Rock your knees side to side. Just rock your knees side to side. Last exercise for today. What we're gonna do is bring our legs all the way across or as much as you can, okay? As much as you can. So let's go ahead and do it. If you do it for two minutes, it will stretch your all your back muscles. And it depends on how far back you take your legs. You could even stretch your um, middle back and a little bit of an upper back muscles, okay? So go ahead, lay down, bring your legs across your head.
Continue. Okay, slowly bring us up down. <clears throat> Let's try it. All right. Just rotate your shoulders because you are too. The flip, the back flip exercise, the Vijang Asan, you have to do it at least for two to three minutes whenever you do it. Okay. It really, really helps. It helped me a lot. Okay. Trust me. So rotate your shoulders so that you don't get shoulder pain. Opposite side. Okay, now try to touch your chin to your neck. Push your head, both hands, join both hands behind your head. Push your head slightly. Try to touch your chin to your chest. Sitting straight, back is straight. Back straight. All right, we need it. That is all for today. Thank you all so much for joining with me in this exercise. See you all again next time with some new set of exercises. Until then, have a wonderful time, rest of your day. Stay happy, no matter what. Bye.